Gee, I waked up in the morning and the sun was peeking to my window. And I out of the bed, out of that bed, a new day starts. You know, it's nice sometimes when the sun, just the right time and the sun is hitting your bed. And, oh, was it ever nice, I thought. Gee, what a good day. With love in your heart, there is a tomorrow. You know, that beautiful tomorrow. You know, you get so excited about the sunshine, the beautiful smell in the spring or in the autumn time. And uh, Mother Nature is such a, ah, ha, 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 I'm so excited today. Tell you, I don't know what the devil I'm doing. Okay, so I will put the magic right on and then we talk about what we will do. Okay, let's fire in, fire in. That happy sunshine in the morning has done it to me. That happy sunshine. Yeah, really. Some people, I get mail, I get so much mail from people locked in sometime in hospitals and in and old age and, you know, then you wonder. It's not a wonderful thing when Mother Nature can perk you up and give you that almighty beginning. And we talk about always a better tomorrow. There's a better tomorrow. There's a better tomorrow. Even if it's gloomy today, but there is a better tomorrow. So I will put the magic right on. So as you see, I do it very often. I don't put it on. I just uh, put it on before the show. And then uh, there was a little bit argument. Sometimes they say, why didn't you put the magic right on? I put it on all the time. Without magic right, I don't know how the devil would work. Maybe I should explain it again. We paint and we never explain why we do what we are doing. The, in the beginning, when I start painting, I always thought you have to mix the colors on your palette. Yeah, that's what it is, what you learn in school or whatever. Uh, common sense, you put the white on here first, and then you put the colors you want, that gray or that particular brown or... And you mix it on a palette, and then you put it on your canvas. But by all the time mixing my paint, I learned, God, you put always white on. Because you cannot make that dark darker, or blue more bluer, or red more redder. You see, when, when you see the colors, or yellow more yellower, you cannot, every color needs white in order to mix it. And then I had a brainstorm one day. I say, why not put that white right on the canvas and mix on that almighty canvas? I have seen that sometime on TV, but it's good to repeat it sometime. This, you know, the philosophy of this wonderful technique. This technique, I tell you, that's like sunshine. It is, uh, uh, it makes it so easy to live. It makes it so easy to create because you... You, you need a white, and that's always there. See, and, and uh, this technique naturally is so different than, than you ever have uh, learned in every school. Any, uh, I never have seen a school that tells you, put the white on. And then, uh, but usually it was always mixed on the palette. So that's why this technique is absolutely different than anyone before me. There was people coming up and they said, oh, you stole my technique. <clears throat> okay, then I say, why didn't you go to the shopping centers and blabber it out? Maybe I didn't even invent it. I just found it and I thought it was nice. I went to the shopping centers in Los Angeles and I blabbered it out and people was excited. I had always a big crowd and everyone was very, very happy about this. So it must be good. Okay, so let's make an interesting sky, maybe a, a very simple. It is not what I paint. It is, I would love to see you learn the technique and get very familiar with, with your paint. You see, my paint, I buy a paint that is very, very thick and strong. You see, when, when uh, I can turn it around and uh, the philosophy is again, a thinner paint will stick on a thicker paint. That means, with other words, I have to have a thicker paint. Otherwise, I can't do what I want. See, beginning artist, what wants to paint wet and wet, wet and wet is a very dangerous technique because you, 
uh, in the beginning, you don't know what the paint means. You buy the paint what you can just get on the shelf, red, blue, green. And if it is a tin paint, on the tin paint, you are a mud maker. Most artists, when they start painting wet and wet, making mud. And they wonder why the devil I make mud. And you see me being so clean because of the consistency of that paint what I always buy. You see, the paint, I paint on top of the paint. I don't paint into the paint. See, there's a big, 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 big difference. I should talk about it the whole hour sometime in order to convince you <clears throat> this, there is a difference between this technique and all the other techniques. See, the other techniques, you let it dry, go over, let it dry, go over, and you can repeat it ten times. And you're not the head. You are not better than what I do. That's the funny part. You think because you worked so much on that canvas. You know, you think because I worked so much, it got to be better. It is not. You know, lightning, it goes, whoom, and that's it. And it has done the work. And that's the same creative power. You cannot create in weeks and weeks and doodle around and doodle around. You have something in your mind and you want to unload it yesterday. I want to unload it any time. And any means, any means how I can unload it is wonderful for me. You see? And I found a way to unload it, you know, to, to make it happen in a short time. It's not what I show you here. When I sell my paintings, they are not this kind of a painting, really. They are different. I have a bit more time. They give me 28 minutes here. I only want to show you a technique, how, how to do it. But when you really get into that, you spend a bit more time. And, uh, and sometimes I let it dry. Some, uh, something works better when it's dry and you go over it again. Certain highlights, you get it maybe a bit better. You see? And if you get it all together this way, you will grow and grow, and you become the artist you want to be, a powerful artist. Okay, now we have the magic right on that canvas, and I will make an interesting sky today. An interesting sky. I would say I will ply with, with happy colors. I will have a dry brush. I will say uh, I use a bit of yellow, a bit of... Uh, Indian yellow, a bit of orange, touch of white, but white is on the canvas, and we will, we will fire off there. And, and see that sky finish. I make those kind of points here, there, there, there. See, there. And maybe fire it in the water there, too. Maybe with more that color, with more that color. Now I will use... A little crimson and a touch of yellow. Maybe that's good, that's good. Going between, in between here. See? Good. Now I use a touch of passion blue into that. See? And I get a complete different color. See how easy it is to apply with, with happy colors and you get the sky you want to have. See, in order to make a deep sky, I always try to have it either dark in the back or on the horizon line and light on top or light and dark on top because the difference between dark and light gives you that feeling there is, it's a depth there. It's an optic illusion. You see, when I put the dark on here, right away you could see there is a certain, uh, a certain, uh, watch. Okay, more, more of that. Try to learn that. And I always have to say, as more you will paint, as more you, the knowledge will come to you how to, how to create this way. See, and I, have, I don't put any effort in. That's the crazy thing. It's a wonderful thing to, to dream along and, and go along. Now I will create a kind of a, a punch. I will have a punch. I take yellow and white 
and a little bit of whatever's in there. And I will punch this up a bit more. Maybe a more, bit more white. See, you see what you're doing. You see what you're doing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's. See, have that little bit of, of light there. And the water, too. Can you see how you build the sky already with happy colors? And have the light. Maybe I put punch the, the light in there. Maybe a bit of there here on the side. Uh, it depends on what your eyes tell you. Maybe here I will have a little bit of orange more up there. And a nice how you can just control your colors, your happy good old way. Good. Maybe I will, I will, I will, I will. Blue, a little crimson is always a powerful uh, darker color for clouds. I will have this a little bit more darker there. Sometimes you are scared to do it, but have the guts, have the guts sometimes. Just do it like that. See, that's nice. Maybe here a little bit. Maybe here a little bit. And we are in it. Here, yeah, just clean it up a bit. Good, 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 good. Now we will, I will use my knife and I will cut in, use white up here and black, a little crimson and Prussian blue. See, and I will fire in a kind of a part of a mountain sticking out there, here, far away. Oh, this, this almighty dreaming power. And that can be learned. You don't have, that is there. I think we all, a human being, we are born with, with certain, uh, with certain uh, abilities to do those kind of things. See, you know, all that light was moving in here. I will... Uh, you can do it so, this, this is in the shadow, this mountain, and there's no sunshine on it, then you highlight it this way, I'll show you. A little bit of white, and use the same colors here, what you have for your mountain, see, the same, and just, just give them that little bit of, watch. Isn't that wonderful? Here is kind of nice and nice and cool and nice and and if you want to show a little bit snow, then you would use white. I put it up there and a touch of blue and a bit of blue. And now you got the blue, you got the blue, and you mix it so that you it takes a while to learn the certain type of a blue what gives you this almighty power. See, I will have here maybe a little feeling of, of snow there in the shadow. See, it is a bit on the dark side. So I use it for the shadow side now. So in order to have a snow in, in a bit on the lighter side, there's always a lighter on the darker side. So I will use a bit of white in to see there like this. See some snow patches popping up there in that distance there. Maybe we give them that highest point with snow there. And you see, can you see that paint? I don't know if you, if you could, if the cameras could make a close up of this particular one here. See, can you see the thousand details I got out with one almighty stroke? And I wish you would learn that. That one stroke, that first stroke, is the most important one if you have the right paint. 
if that paint is smeary and sloppy, forget any stroke. There is no stroke. But if you have a right paint, the right consistency, to wash the paint on the canvas already. See, that paint, the thickness on the canvas is what gives you, what gives you what, how thin it has to be. It has to be a little touch thinner than that paint on that canvas there. See, and if you get it right, I tell you, 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 you will be the happiest, you will be the happiest person on this earth. See, okay, now I will just give him a little bit there. With more there and more there. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> it is so nice. It is so nice. It hurts. It hurts. You know, and see, by painting this way, it builds you up. I think a guy that goes on drugs, he must feel the same thing. They build himself up, but however, it is, I never in my life have seen drugs or. Because I don't need them. I drug myself up with my, with my, look, it, it, this is so exciting that you can't help being drugged up. Now you see why I'm so happy, because I have learned that almighty technique. The way it has to be. And I wish I could give it to you with all my heart, because for me there is not the tomorrow anymore. When you're 75, you're on the end of the rope. But I wish I could give to you all that what I have learned in my lifetime. Take it serious, too. There's a lot of guys, they, you know, they, they bothers me. This, they say, oh, that guy, he's knocking off the painting. This is worth nothing. It took me 40 years to find out how you knock that painting off. And that's what I have the right consistency, and one with the other works fantastic. I can do that what the other artists would do in a day in 10 minutes. And that is nothing but the truth. And it bothers me when someone comes up and, and uh, uh, said, yeah, you, you do it so fast. Because it took a lifetime to get it there. And now I beg you to grab it. You have a chance. The chance of your life is right now there. Grab it and do it and make a happy buck. Get rich. Have a nice gallery. See, right now, if you came to my house, I'm on the lake, beautiful stairs down, <clears throat> nice, uh, nice boat down on my pier, and the studio, all glass, you know, I look out there up to the mountains, over that beautiful lake. See, this alone is worth thousands, thousands and millions of dollars. Just the feeling you have. No, I talk too much. I'm sorry. Okay, good. I hope you understand. I, I just sometimes get overboard because this alone excited me to a point that I couldn't help talking to you like that. Good. Now we will, we will grab that almighty brush. See here, the big brush. I go right into the black and passion blue and sap green. And I fire an almighty tree standing there with love in my heart. There is a tomorrow. You see that? <laughs> can you see what that almighty brush can do? All those beautiful details. You never get it with a small brush. No, that's up to that's up whatever he wants to think. I would say I put two trees in, two of our four trees we live with. Look at that. Aren't you happy? I know, I know you are singing home too. You're happy to see that. And I'm happy to make you happy. See, I see it on my mail. We have millions of people writing me, and I'm so proud that they all tell me it is a way of living. They never experienced before a way of painting, and it makes me feel good too. So I think we all do the right thing. We pull for each other. Together, we make a better world.
gee, I, when I think about what I'm doing now, I talk like a preacher, and I don't, I don't like that idea. I want to just be, tell you about this almighty technique. There is something for everyone, especially when you're retired, you have, uh, have so much fun to, look at that. I leave that little bit of opening there. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. It's just a joy to be alive. Good, good, good. Now we will go into the yellow. Yellow and a touch of green. Yellow and a touch of green. See, if the paint is too thick, I go into the magic white and make a thinner paint. A thinner paint will stick on a thicker paint, and I'm in absolute good shape. <laughs> See, look at that. Now we will fire and give him a little bit of highlights there. Look at, oh God. It is so nice, I tell you. Can you make a close up on that, please? If the cameras could show the details there, how nice I fired in there. See? Oh God. So the dear Lord is really good. It's really good. He helps you, he helps you. If you want it, help yourself, and the Lord will always help you. He will always help you. It's right there. Look at that. <laughs> there you are. There you are. All right. And touch. Now, I have, before I go on with that, I have to. to to make this like water there. See? Make it like water there. And push it sideways a little bit. See? And, 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 and. Give them a little bit of a shoreline there. Make it kind of a greenish, happy. Happy shoreline there. A happy shoreline there. See, look at that. Oh, it's not nice to walk around that pond. To walk around that pond, and there's a nice curve. Give him a nice curve there. And, and there you are. Look at that. And then maybe you give them a bit of a thinner paint. A thinner paint will stick on a thicker paint. I always have to thin it down with magic white. You see, now you put a couple water lines in there. See? A couple water lines in there. And then here you, you just have other little line there. and. And make it like kind of a shoreline there, a bit of a green up there, a bit of green up there. Look at that, look at that. See, then in uh, the meantime, you make water out of this. See, there. And then you, 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 you fire in with all your heart, a dinner, dinner paint sticks on a thicker paint. I use a, a magic white and yellow. And now we, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Can you whistle with me? Whistle a happy tune, and we go on and on and create a wonderful uh, whatever. But I hope you learned something. The dinner paint sticks on the thicker paint. Can you make a close up on this? Can you see? Can you see the beautiful? Oh, oh, <laughs> it is so nice. I tell you, it is too nice to be true. 
Look at that. Too nice to be true. In the dark, see, you need the, you need the dark in order to show light. See, then you really cut in some little tree trunks there. Little tree trunks. Here one, here one. If it doesn't work good enough, you just do it sideways, a side stroke, see, and it will work. Can you see? Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that the power of being on Earth? God give you all that power. Take it, take it, and make the best out of that. See, and that is what it is. See, then there's a little side stroke, and it gives you a nice tree trunk, a nice happy tree trunk. And that pain is already talking to you, it is singing, and everything is just high tune. See, now we will just highlight the trees a little bit, and then what the devil pain has done. Just here, give him a little bit of highlight there. A little bit of highlight uh, there. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Look at that. Now you wonder why I whistle and I'm happy and I'm singing because Mother Nature's on my side and I have the right equipment and I have the right paint and I have the right attitude and everything is working for me and I said it will work for you if you want it. Thank you for watching me. I love you.